Honda Fun EV Honda's current electrified two-wheeler lineup is represented by a single-city scooter. However, according to the company's execs, the brand's 2030 EV ambitions reach much farther. To back up this claim and preview upcoming two-wheelers, Honda unveiled two conceptual models at this year's EICMA show floor, a middleweight motorcycle and a futuristic maxi scooter. The EV Fun will offer performance specifications comparable to modern mid-size ICE bikes by Honda, but the range is claimed to be at least 60 miles from a fixed battery pack. We do hope that this is a mistake and we'll be able to travel much further without looking for a plug. Externally, the EV Fun boasts a two-tone monochrome design and visible single-sided swing arm, a mid-motor layout with a bell drive, an inverted front fork suspension, and radial front brake calipers. This sporty two-wheeler will also support CCS2 quick charging. Nguyen Moto N1S A young Vietnamese company has put months of dedication and hard work into producing the first domestically made electric motorcycle. This bike is inspired by urban scramblers and has a modern minimalist design and dark angular bodywork. Underneath it, there's a lightweight aluminum frame housing an 8 kilowatt hour pack, a built-in charger, and a 24 kilowatt e-motor with a mid-drive layout. The bike has a mid-range size, a seat height of 31 and a half inches, and 6.8 inches of ground clearance. The N1S motorcycle could be outfitted with Brembo brakes, a full suspension featuring an Olean's fork, a rear damper, and such electronic aids as cruise control, ABS, regenerative braking, and three riding performance modes with a reverse mode. The powertrain can generate a maximum torque of 140 pound-feet, reach a maximum speed of 80 miles per hour, and travel up to 125 miles on a charge. KTM Freeride E KTM was one of the first manufacturers to present a mass-produced electric dirt bike. Back in 2014, it looked like a significant breakthrough and the start of something revolutionary. However, instead of actively developing in this direction, KTM decided to rest on the laurels and give the Freeride E-Range little to no updates, thus letting other players catch up. So today, when the lightweight motorcycle market is dominated by the likes of Suron and Talaria, KTM is rolling out some key updates for the 2025 model year. The newcomer has a 910 mm seat height and a reworked frame that encapsulates the battery and the mid-mounted motor. The 11 kW e-motor is good for 19.2 kW and 27 pound-feet of peak output. To maximize the efficiency of the 5.5 kWh battery, KTM developed three riding modes, the most powerful of which unlocks the 60 mph speed. To properly handle the output, the bike uses a braking system with 260mm disc in the front and 260mm ones in the rear, while the suspension setup has 43mm WP X-Axe split design forks and an adjustable WP Explore PDS unit with 9.8 inches of travel. RGNT Turbo. For the first time in many years, the well-known Swedish manufacturer of retro electric motorcycles has presented an all-new model. Just like its predecessors, it features an iconic, vintage-inspired look, but has a more lightweight construction suitable for urban riding and a more attractive price tag. This e-moto is suitable for A1 license holders and brings the 1980s vibe with two distinct color schemes called the Purple Rain and the Black Thunder to modern-day users. Although the manufacturer is yet to announce the full technical specifications and the list of available components, we already know that this retro machine will accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4 seconds. Owing that to 46 kilowatt output capabilities, ride at speeds up to 75 miles per hour and cover up to 93 miles between charges. Yet another innovation that will find approval from the riders is the presence of a fast charging system. It can reportedly top up the battery in 90 minutes.
Royal Enfield Flying Flea C6. Royal Enfield used this year's EICMA show floor to not only unveil their first highly anticipated electric motorcycle, but also a separate EV brand called the Flying Flea. Scheduled for a market debut in 2026, the Flying Flea C6 will preserve Royal Enfield's retro spirit by using an exposed aluminum frame, rounded lights, a leather saddle, and a unique girder suspension setup. Band offer all-terrain riding capabilities in a lightweight package. As of today, the brand hasn't disclosed its main performance characteristics and motorcycling components besides a specially developed vehicle control unit, a battery protected by a magnesium enclosure, lean angle sensing, ABS, a cruise control system, a round touchscreen TFT display, and quick charger with a three-pin plug. At the end of the show, the company execs teased the upcoming S6 model that looks like a lightweight electric scrambler. J2R Dynamic Small French companies are picking up the pace in the design and production of electric motorcycles. This year, a company called J2R Dynamics is preparing a new e-bike for production. Their city-oriented bike weighs 220 pounds, has a 54.5-inch wheelbase and a 31-inch seat height. The model is powered by a specially developed lightweight motor that's hidden inside the rear wheel hub. The motor is good for 8 kilowatts of continuous and 35 kilowatts of peak output. With two 4 kilowatt hour battery packs, they can cover up to 105 miles on a charge while boasting 68 mile per hour top speed capabilities. You may now pre order the bikes for 500 euros, and the company is planning to start shipping the bikes to their potential customers in early 2025. Zero XE and Zero XB. The market of lightweight electric motorcycles is about to get a proper shakeup as America's most advanced bike manufacturer is reportedly expanding into this business. To conquer the budget market segment, Zero Motorcycles plans to bring six new models with sub 10K prices in the upcoming years. At this year's EICMA show floor, the brand has already unveiled two of the six anticipated newcomers Zero XE and Zero XB trail bikes. Zero XB is the least expensive model, coming at $4,195, so its specifications are quite humble. Built on the brand new model, the XB sports a 7.5 kilowatt motor and a compact removable battery with a 2.4 kilowatt hour capacity. This battery is estimated to have enough juice for 47 miles of riding, while the top speed is capped at the beginner friendly level of 28 miles per hour. The more potent option is the Zero XE, which comes with a $6,495 price tag. To efficiently conquer trails, the bike gets a combination of a 15.5 kilowatt motor and a 4.3 kilowatt hour battery to reach 53 miles per hour speeds and cover up to 65 miles on a charge. Finally, both XE and XB models are to be offered in street legal modifications in Europe, while Americans only get off-road ready ones. Atelier Heritage Bike Spirit Scrambler The looks of this electric scrambler were influenced by the motorcycle heritage of the past century. The two-wheeler is based on a black tubular frame and has a round vintage headlight, a large faux fuel tank, an elongated bench seat, and a set of knobby tires. The Spirit Scrambler offers specifications similar to the 125cc class. The available 7-kilowatt rear hub motor can generate 206 pound-feet of torque and enable 80 mile per hour speeds. The motor is paired to a 48 volt battery pack with 5.5 kilowatt hours of capacity. One full charge will reportedly give you up to 60 miles of riding. In a recent collaboration with Renault, the 10 unit limited edition bike called R4 Scrambler was created. This bike sports a neo retro design inspired by the iconic Renault R4 car that was popular in the 1960s. Unlike the standard bike, the R4 Scrambler has a bold look with a light blue color scheme 
knobby Hibenau tires, a revised lighting structure, and unique seat materials. Silence SO5 Weekender Silence Urban Mobility is a Spain-based manufacturer that's known for pioneering e-scooters with smart removable battery packs. At this year's EICMA stand in Milan, the company showcased some of its upcoming products, among which is an all-new SO5 minibike. Although city commuting is the main application for the newcomer, the manufacturer made sure that it's robust enough to withstand imperfect road conditions or even handle trips through a dirt trail. Despite rugged construction, the model is built with lightweight material, so its weight without a battery is just 207.2 pounds. The manufacturer didn't disclose the battery specs, but we are promised 82 miles of real-world range and 75 miles per hour highway speeds. The bike will be equipped with ABS brakes, a 7-inch touchscreen display, and a built-in helmet compartment in the faux tank area. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.